Hey guys, I'm just now uh, leaving work. Gonna go home, go work out with the fiance. Oh, I talked about this in my podcast. So why are you talking then, if you already did your podcast? Well, because I like talking, and life is a precious thing. Now, I could just go home and, you know, do nothing for the rest of the day and not talk on this, but I want to encourage people, and so probably I put it as a part two part. Wow, that is why there's a truck with red lighting underneath it, LED tires, giant truck, like giant. It's like, bro, why? Is this the one I want, or is this the one I want? I think this is the one I want for heating. Oh. My encouragement to you guys as viewers is to be yourselves. If you're someone that's brand new to YouTube like me, I've only been on YouTube now for a little while. But even though I've been on YouTube only, only for a little while, I still have a lot of experience in making YouTube content you know this is my probably third time making a YouTube channel and if I had just kept grinding and kept the videos I had I probably would have more like 2,000 videos by now from the very first time I tried and the first time I tried ever making a YouTube channel I well I'm gonna keep it real I would just play on my Xbox make 10 minute increments download them and then re-upload them into um, YouTube, but I didn't have any voice, and having sound. I'm used to doing videos without sound, so that's why sometimes when you hear me play video games, you hear me talk at the beginning of the video, and then like I don't talk for like the rest of the video. <laughs> or sometimes I don't even talk at all, because sometimes I just, I don't know what else to say in the video. I just, I don't know. <laughs> so I, I don't, I'm not one of those charismatic players that like, ooh, look at that, ooh, I just did that and that and that, blah, 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 blah. I just, I, I'm not, not have a gamer. I'm more of a, I have to focus. I have to focus so much when I'm gaming that even when my fiance goes to touch my arm or cuddle with me or wants to be with me, she finds out the hard way most of the time that I'm like, hey, space, I'm gaming, I need space, I need to be left alone. I can't game and focus on you at the same time. And often I'm heartbroken because I have to choose between the ones I love and how I'm going about my videoing. So that's always a fun thing to try to figure out. But I feel really confident about about life. I, it's a weird feeling, you know. Usually, when I have a feeling like this, it lasts about a week or two, and then I'm back to my depressed, oh poor me state. Oh, life is worthless, you know, depressed. But like lately, my life has just been one good thing after another. And you know, those of you who, who do, no, for those uh, sorry, for those who do not know me. Um, my life is usually one depressing thing after another. I'm usually upset, I'm angry, I'm antisocial, I'm dysfunctional, I'm very anti trying to get along with people, I don't get along with my coworkers. I mean, this was me. For the people that, that do know me, they, they know this about me and they, they see my life and how much it's changed and grown and I've become someone totally different than I used to be. And, you know, there's some people who haven't seen my life from a day-to-day -day basis, and they don't have a clue. And often I get judged by those people, quite often. Um, right now, I've only had to deal with, like, one or two of those people coming into my life, judging me, condemning me, telling me that I'm going to fail whatever I do, telling me I'm doomed to never learn, and then they disappear. Because I think either the Holy Spirit convicts them and says, Shh, you're in the wrong for saying that, you have no nothing, or... You know, they just they just believe what they believe and they move on with their lives. And one of the things that helped me overcome dealing with such negative things in my life is taking everything with a grain of salt and have water off ducks back. This is a concept I was just talking to my fiance about yesterday and he's like But how do you do that? I'm like, Well, you don't take things personal, that's the first step. Second step is you take everything with a grain of salt, you know, and then from there, you, you learn little tricks here and there, how to 
handle things that come up. Like for me, I used to blow up at people. I used to be extremely explosive with my words and actions when I'd get upset or be hurt. Now, mm, only once in a while do I get like that, where I get blow, where I blow up, blow up. And that's because I learned to love people as God does and look at them with his eyes, not my eyes, but his eyes, and do things his way, not my way. And there are times where that's hard to do. And there's times where it feels like it's effortless. Uh, I can just do that and be king of the world. You know, there was a situation this summer where a friend of mine was attacking, or someone, not a friend, sorry, someone I used to know was attacking me during the summer. Just Ryan Lee came out of nowhere and started attacking me. And I was able to be calm and collected. I was able to rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And I felt like I was king of the world. I felt like I was unstoppable. And then the same person comes back in my life a couple months later. And I don't feel as strong as I did, you know, when I when, when I was up against that person. But, again, not talking about that person anymore. I made an agreement. So I'm not going to details about his name and all that. Um, but, like... In my life, I used to not be able to hold a job. I used to not be able to hold a relationship for very long, like maybe a week or two. Now I've been with a woman that I love for a while now. Finally to a place in my life where I'm mature enough to hold a job. On top of that, I am always learning, adapting. Um, my YouTube channel is the perfect example of me listening to people's wisdom and then taking what I've learned and adapting it to my life. And it's evidence that I am changing from the inside out. And on top of that, I am still learning things. And, you know, sometimes some things take longer than others to learn and repent and change from. But I, I'm doing really well. And there's other areas of my life I used to really struggle with. Like, I'm not afraid to talk about this. Um, I used to be a cross-dresser. I used to be someone that was bisexual. I identified as a woman at one point. I hated everything to do with Christianity. I was antisocial. I mean, I was... I was not a decent human being. And if anything, I was the very thing that I was taught to hate when I was a kid. And... I was just in a dark place, probably the darkest place I've ever been, you know. And then God blessed me with Little Creek Casino, and then God blessed me with Tanya, and then God blessed me now with, you know, not just one or two people, but my entire church family sitting down with me, backing me up, telling me that they care and love me with their words, not just their actions. And they actually are uplifting me in prayer and sharing with me how proud they are and you know having my entire church family tell me that to my face means the universe to me it makes me more and more confident knowing that I have people that back me up and truly care and understanding that I don't need to know or I don't need to understand everything in life I don't need to have this deep spiritual connection with God where I have to know everything there is about the word and all the rules and protocols and understand these deep complicated things. No, God's called me to be a simple person. He's called me to be a child of the king, not a adult of the king, a child. And children, they don't care about knowing deep, deep, syphilitical, whatever that word is, uh, deep, you know, meaning of things. They just ask questions. And I ask lots of questions <laughs> all the time. Um, I'm not as spiritually deep as I used to be. That's because I've let myself be more relaxed with my life and my spiritual growth. I have no desire to be this on fire for Jesus guy who preaches the word out of his mouth all the time and searches the scriptures and talks to rabbis and goes to a, a length that could be seen as obsessive with my faith. I'd rather just learn as I go through life, you know, learn as I go along. And as I go along, people will come along and show me the way and teach me new things. And I like that more than searching. 
Because usually the answers I'm searching for tend to plop right down in my lap, whether I want it to or not. It just happens. And, you know, that in itself is a beautiful thing. Anywho, I'm about to turn on to College Street from Marvin. I'm going to get going. Or Martin, sorry, not Marvin. Um, for the night. But I just want to say thank you to everyone who's just uplifting me in prayer, giving me f positive feedback, helping me understand when I mess up on stuff, and just holding me accountable with my relationship with Tanya, but also holding me accountable to the fact that I have goals and that I am reaching said goals. Um, I'm doing really well when it comes to goal making and achieving said goals. Setting realistic goals and expectations for myself has always been a hard thing for me to do, but I'm really happy that I'm doing well. And I'm really glad for everyone's love and support. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. I know it's not Thanksgiving, but I guess I can call this the pre-Thanksgiving um, <laughs> thankfulness podcast, I guess. But there's a lot of things I'm thankful for, and I've talked about them throughout this entire video multiple times. But uh, anyway, I'm home, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching this podcast.